So uh, now let's finally jump right into the uh, uh, first topic, and that's the cylinders and quadric surfaces. So we have already looked at two special types of surfaces, planes and spheres. And uh, basically, uh, here's a, just recap my earlier videos, it links to the playlist. And this vector equation of a plane, so you have a, a, like this, basically you have a vector that's on the plane, and then a normal vector, and then you have a vector from the zero point axis, and from there you can get this equation right here of the plane. So then a dot product of this vector with this vector, normal vector is gonna be equal to zero uh, based on the Todd product uh, properties. And then uh, scalar equation of a plane, uh, you can uh, write these out uh, without vectors and it's gonna be like this. So A times, uh, pretty much A times X plus B Y plus uh, C Z. Um, and this is assuming that this uh, distance is gonna be on, on the zero point. Yeah, on the uh, the origin. All right, and that equals to zero. So then the equation of a sphere, just to recap, uh, this is a, if you have a center at the origin, the equation is just going to be x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals r squared. But if it's not at the center, if you have a point like, let's say, at c right here, which is h, k, l, you're going to have uh, subtracted here uh, and equals r squared. Similar to this one right here, this is uh, at a distant point. But if it's at zero, you can just remove all these x naught, y naught, z naught. All right, going further. So here we investigate two other types of surfaces cylinders and quadric surfaces. In order to sketch the graph of a surface, it is useful to determine the curves of, in of intersection of the surface with planes parallel to the coordinate planes. These curves are called traces or cross sections of the surface. All right, so now let's take a look at the first section that's gonna be on cylinders. So a cylinder is a surface that consists of all lines called rulings, that are parallel to a given line and pass through a given plane. And uh, to illustrate that, we'll look at the example right here. Example one, parabolic cylinder. And this states, sketch the graph of the surface Z equals X squared. All right, so let's take a look at the solution. So notice that the equation of the graph Z equals X squared doesn't involve Y. This means that any vertical plane with equation y equals k, which is again parallel to the x, z plane, I'll uh, illustrate this with a drawing, uh, intersects the graph in a curve with equation z equals x squared. So these vertical traces are, are parabolas, are all parabolas, or just uh, are parabolas. Uh, the figure below shows how the graph is formed by taking the parabola z equals x squared in the x, z plane and moving it in the direction of the y axis. All right, so let's draw draw this in 3D. So it's gonna look something like this. Uh, so we're gonna actually have a uh, horizontal, like parabolic cylinder, that's what it's called. It's gonna go like this and I'll draw the axis, uh, et cetera, soon. And just illustrate this. So this goes like this. And this goes like that, and this goes here, and just go da dash line through it. And then, so the z axis is going to be, let's say this is the center z axis, and it goes all the way down here. And it, it goes all the way here because we have uh, x, z equals x squared. Yeah, so when you plug in a 0 for x, you're going to have z is 0 as well. So it's going to go all the way down to this bottom there. So that means the y axis is going to be directly on this. And this is going to be uh, x right here. It doesn't matter what the y is, etc. So this one, when z is equal to zero, and I mean when x is equal to zero, z is also equal to zero, and y is every single value. So basically on the y axis, like that. And yeah, that's how it looks like. And then and then these are all parabolas. So when you have y equals zero, it's going to be directly on here. I'm going to draw this for the o origin like that. And this is going to look something like this. It's all going to be um, basically parallel parabolas. And go like the uh, actually yeah this is a through like that and then dash line across there and uh, yeah that's how it looks like all right so now the next setup is uh, we're gonna draw the the ruling so remember the definition right here uh, these uh, curves are called traces or cross sections uh, and then uh, actually this part right here uh, a cylinder is a surface that consists of all lines called rulings that are parallel to a given line and pass through a given plane so this is the plane. Uh, all, all parabolas right, right here, all basically make infinite parabolas along the y-axis. And then you're going to have rulings all parallel, basically a bunch of lines, 
So it's going to be parallel in this case to the y-axis. It's parallel to this y-axis. Like that. So you can have, you can draw this out through basically infinite amount of these, uh, of these lines like that. I'll just, uh, yeah, put it, let's put it on the, this side right here. Etc. So on the outside, just draw those lines. Basically have infinite amount of that. And I'll just put it in red right here. These are the rulings. And they are parallel to this y axis line like that. All right, so going further. So uh, here's the, the graph in GeoGebra's 3D graphing calculator. So there's a link here, and, uh, and I'll include basically all the 3D uh, graphs that, that throughout this whole uh, video, et cetera, inside. So we're going to have over here, uh, this is how it looks like. And uh, if you go to this uh, link right here, and you're going to have a whole bunch here. These, are, these ones are for the other examples and exercises. So here's how it looks like. So if you just go, uh, you could just type in the GeoGebra z equals x squared, and it's going to create a just a cylinder like that, and it's a parabolic cylinder. That's epic stuff like that. Yeah, sweet. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Then you can zoom in and shift it around and uh, rotate it and so on. Then you can do some other stuff like that, move it around. And uh, yeah, you can play around with it. And uh, yeah, pretty cool stuff. All right. Let's continue further. So the graph is a surface called a parabolic cylinder made up of infinitely shifted copies of the same parabola. Here, the rulings of the cylinder are parallel to the y-axis. So, uh, and uh, going further, so we notice that the variable y is missing from the equation in uh, of the cylinder in example one. This is typical of a surface whose rulings are, are parallel to one of the uh, coordinate axis. Yeah, so um, if one of the variables x, y, or z is missing from the equation of a surface, then the surface is a cylinder. So that's a, a good uh, note right there. Yeah, because uh, basically whatever shape you have, uh, then it's going to be extended out infinitely. So the y is missing here, and so this means that we're going to extend this out for whatever value of y there is. 